Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the unboxing of the brand new Sony Alpha 7 in the third generation. That's the box from all sides. Here are some information. Here are the most important specs of this camera. As you can see, full frame body with a 24.2 megapixel sensor, the ISO range up to 10 frames per second. It's Wi-Fi certified. It comes with NFC, Bluetooth, HDMI and so on and so on. Down here are all optional accessories that for the new Sony Alpha 7. On that side, nothing. On the lower side, content of that package. Uh, as you can see, we have an AC adapter, rechargeable battery pack. It's the NPF Z100, a micro USB cable and a shoulder strap. And how that looks like, we'll have a look on that in a few seconds. This product is made in Thailand, I guess. And let's have a look. As you can see on the top here is the seal. So it's a brand new camera and let's have a look what's inside that box. I decided to get a second battery pack for the brand new Sony Alpha 7 Mark III. So that's the NPFZ100 with its capacity of 2280 milliamperes. As you probably heard from previous reviews, you don't really need a second battery pack anymore because the battery life on the Sony Alpha 7 III is so good. But anyways, in case you need one, here's the price. It's about 90 euro. That's the content of uh, this package. We start in the lower left corner with the micro USB cable. You probably have tons of them already at home. Then two AC adapters, one for Europe, of course, if you're in the United States, you get a different plug. That one is for the United Kingdom. So these two cables or either one of them belongs into that side. And with the micro USB cable that belongs into this plug here, you can charge the NP FZ100 uh, battery inside the camera via the micro USB port with its capacity of 2,280 milliamperes. That's a shoulder strap, not heavy at all, and it doesn't feel that good. I've seen better ones. Here's the user guide and a guarantee card. Last but not least, the body itself. It feels like the new Sony Alpha 9. At the side, there's a thumb controller. Here's the display. I would have preferred a tilt type display that goes 180 degrees into the other direction. So we are able to see ourselves. On top there's the shutter release button, a mode dial for the video mode, the automatic mode, full manual mode. And of course the electronic viewfinder. On top a hot shoe to attach a video light, an external microphone or a flash. That's the mirrorless full frame sensor. There's the Sony Alpha logo. At the lower side, a standard tripod mount. Next to it is the battery compartment for the NPFZ100. The camera feels outstandingly good. It's nice and compact and it's full frame. It's much smaller than the Canon EOS 5D Mark IV, which is this heavy beast. And uh, I would say already thank you very much for listening and see you soon with the review about the new camera. Ciao!